Sharia trees can be real giants, growing 30 to 40 meters tall. That's 100 to 120 feet. And you may have seen videos or images of the seeds spiraling from the sky, majestically pinwheeling on their helicopter wings. But have you ever seen anybody growing the seeds? Well, let me share with you the method that worked best for me. I found growing the seeds to be quite challenging and difficult. I finally found a system that worked and I will share with you two variations. You probably will not be able to purchase these seeds online. I read that once seeds dry out, they will only be viable for about 7 to 10 days. I could not determine the exact age of the seeds that I collected, and though I live in a very humid environment, I'm sure some were more than 7 to 10 days old, though I did try to collect seeds that appeared to be the most fresh. So try to use seeds that are as fresh as possible, but do not pick them off when they are still on the tree itself. I believe I got around 250 seeds that I collected directly off the ground. It was my experience that these seeds have a very low success rate, somewhere in the range of 15 to 20 percent, so plan accordingly. The first method I'm going to show illustrates the basic factors you need to know and I'm going to refer to it as the black bag method. The second method is merely a variation on this theme. Here is the waterproof bag full of seeds that I collected off the ground from under the trees. I have left the wings intact. Spray some water so that all the seeds are thoroughly moistened, but not necessarily soggy. I believe leaving the wings on helps to retain moisture and create a high humidity level. Here you can see at the bottom of the bag there is only a little bit of standing water. Place that bag inside a light proof, watertight, thick black bag or container of some sort. Keep your light proof and waterproof bag somewhere where it is very dark, basically pitch black, and where you can maintain a temperature of 85 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 30 degrees Celsius. Of course you can use any type of container provided it is watertight and it's kept in a virtually pitch black place. Here's the bag after three weeks. Carefully dig through and you should find some of the seeds have started to germinate. Out of this enormous bag, about 13 had started to germinate. I'm thrilled and this is a great start. I have placed the seeds on a plate to get a better look at them. I don't think any of them are quite ready to be planted in the soil, so I am returning them into the sealed black bag to grow some more. Four week update. Some more seeds have germinated and some have fairly large roots, so I am going to place them in a starter pot. I am using a very loose soil mixture that's mainly core, that's coconut husk fiber, and some regular potting soil. I recommend you wait until the seeds have grown a strong, large root that's at least one inch, about two and a half centimeters in length, before transplanting into starter pots with soil. One of the seeds does not have a very large root, but I will try it anyway. For convenience, I am planting all three in one container. If you live in a dry environment, I suggest you create a mini hothouse effect by placing your pot in a clear sealable bag or tie a clear plastic bag over the top. Keep them in indirect light and keep them as warm as possible. Five week update. I went through the large black bag and removed all the seeds that had germinated and placed them in a separate bag. I returned both bags to the pitch black stove. Six week update. Here is the original black bag and no more seeds germinated. So it was my experience that if your seeds have not germinated by about six weeks, they are not viable and probably will not grow. 45 of the approximately 250 seeds germinated for a germination success rate of, wait for it, 18%. Seven week update. Here are the first three sprouts and they have grown some beautiful leaves. This is really fantastic and they are doing great. Though I forgot to make a video of it, at the six week mark, 
I took a few more sprouts and placed them in a container. Here they are. Some are doing okay and some not. The second method is what I call the box method, and it is merely a variation on what I already demonstrated. Use a light-proof and waterproof box or container that allows room for seed germination. Place the seeds with the wings removed directly on top of pre-moistened, very loose soil mixture. I am using mainly core, coconut husk fiber, and a bit of regular potting soil and some vermiculite. Do not bury the seeds. In fact, I would suggest that you just barely press them into the soil. It was my experience that seeds planted directly in soil deteriorate quickly and never germinate. Again, store somewhere where it is dark all the time and above 85 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 30 degrees Celsius. Three week update. I placed eight seeds in each box. In one box, none of the seeds germinated, but in the other box, two of the seeds have germinated. Yes! Four week update. In one box, still no seeds have germinated. In the other box, the two seeds that germinated are looking big and strong enough to transplant into starter containers. It was a bit difficult to remove the seedlings and not disturb the root, so be quite careful at this point. And at this point, for convenience sake, I combined all the seeds that had not sprouted into one box. Five week update. One more seed has germinated and I am simply going to leave it in the box and remove the other seeds that did not germinate because I am pretty sure they are not viable. Six week update. A total of three out of 16 in the box method germinated, once again for a success rate in the 15 to 20 percent range, which is basically the same as I got using the black bag method. So it was my experience that both methods have a similar germination success rate and it's really up to you as to which method best suits your needs. Seven week update. Here are the three seeds that germinated using the box method. They are looking healthy and this is certainly a method worth considering. Two months, almost nine week wrap up. Here is my Sharia seedling collection. Wow, they're looking great. I'm really happy to have so many plants. I tried germinating the seeds last year using many other methods and none of them really worked. Only one seed germinated. It's now about 13 months old. Here it is, and it's a beautiful sapling. But the method I use here, even though it gets a low success rate of only about 15 to 20 percent, definitely works a lot better. I know not many people are going to watch this video, so if you are one of the select and special few, I would really appreciate it if you tick that like button and be sure and leave a comment below. Thanks so much and happy tree growing!